Greetings! In this short video I will show you how to get started with the NetBeans uh, Java Integrated Development Environment. I'll show you where to download it, how to install it, and how to compile your very first program. Okay, so let's get started. Now when you're writing Java programs on your computer, there's two pieces that you need uh, before you can get started. You need an integrated development environment, which is what NetBeans is, um, but you also have to install the Java development kit. Right? Normally that's done with two different packages, two different downloads, two different installs, but Oracle has put together a bundle uh, to save you the extra download. Right? So with this bundle we can uh, download one package run it, install it, and uh, both the IDE and the Java development kit will be installed for us at the same time. So the easiest way to get it, I suppose, is to log into Blackboard, go to the CS3340 course, so on the left side here you'll see a link called IDEs, click on that and you'll see a list of free Java IDEs. The one that we're interested in is JDK7 with NetBeans, that's the easiest. If you want to try other IDEs, Eclipse is uh, listed here, plus there are other flavors of NetBeans. JEdit is a Java editor that is sort of kind of a IDE. Um, IntelliJ IDE uh, is another one you can give a try, right? As long as any of these as long as you can get any of these to work on your computer, it doesn't matter which one you use. They're all going to do do Java. Okay, so let's get started with uh, with the uh, bundled version here. So we we'll just click on that, and that's going to take us to Oracle's page, where we can go ahead and download it. Right, we're going to have all these options here to download uh, this package. So we have to accept the license agreement, and once we do that, you need to make a selection. If you're running Linux, Mac OS, or Windows, select uh, the download link appropriate for your environment. Okay, if you're running Mac OS, you're going to select this link. If you're running 64-bit uh, Windows, which is what Windows 8 is, Windows 7 has a 64-bit version, then we're going to want this link here. Okay, if you're running 32-bit Windows, which is XP 32-bit uh, version or Windows 7 32-bit version, then you want this link right here. Okay. And similarly for Linux, whatever your distribution is, if it's a 64-bit version, you want this link here. If it's a 32-bit version, you want this link here. Okay. So once that is downloaded, then we can go ahead and install it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I downloaded it to my desktop, and uh, so we'll go ahead and run it. So, click on it through Chrome, click on Run, and we're going to start up the installer. Okay. So, take a sec. All right. So, we're presented with the, uh, with the uh, installer window here, and we're going to have this uh, wizard that's going to walk us through it. Okay, so we'll just gonna click Next. Um, we're not going to use JUnit in this class, so you don't have to install it. If you want to, it's not going to hurt you, but since we're not going to use it, I'm not going to install it on this machine. Next. Um, all the defaults here work great. You, know, you can change the path wherever you want. Okay, so this first path is going to be for the NetBeans IDE. The second path is for the uh, Java Development Kit. Two different packages, but we're going to be able to uh, install them both through the same installer. So I'll just leave them in the default. I don't have any reason to move them anywhere else. Hit next. I don't want automatic updates, so I'm going to uncheck that. Okay. Then click install. Okay. And this is going to go through and do its thing. And uh, once it's done, we'll be uh, we'll be ready to go. So uh, I'm going to pause right here, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm finished uh, with my install. So I don't want to send anonymous data. My bandwidth is precious to me, so I'll uncheck that. 
and we'll hit finish. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, run this thing. Okay. Let's go find it here. Start. And oops. Go to NetBeans. Click NetBeans, and we're going to load this thing. Up. Uh, no, I don't want to import them. I had seven the previous version installed. Um, this is a new version. I don't want to. I don't want to import my old settings. So I'm going to select no. Okay. So let's load this thing up. All right. So here we go. All right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new project. So we'll go up to the file menu up here, and we can select new project here if we want to. Or uh, you could just click on new file, right? But I think the easiest thing to do was just to select new project. So let's do that, and it'll start a little wizard for us. We're going to make a Java project. It's going to be an application. So let's click on the application project. Click next. Um, we need to give the project a name. So I'm just going to name this thing demo. Okay. Uh, we need to decide on our project location. By default, it'll put it inside a folder called NetBeans Projects in your Documents folder. Um, I want to put it in a place that'll be easier to find, so I'm just going to put it right on my desktop. Why not? All right. Okay. All right. So the project folder is going to be created uh, on my desktop, and it's going to have the same name as my project name. Right. So this is going to create a folder on my desktop named demo. Okay. I don't want to use a dedicated folder for storing my library, so I'll just leave that unchecked. And uh, NetBeans will create my main class for me automatically if I leave this thing checked. So why not? Let's let's do that. So click finish. Okay. So it's going to create my new project. Okay. So now we're uh, we're ready to get started. Okay. So over here you'll see uh, the project projects window. This kind of gives us a layout of uh, the structure for our project, right? Here's our source packages. Uh, our main program is going to belong to its own package called package demo. And here's our demo class, basically our main class, and the uh, main method for our demo class. Remember, Java is an object-oriented programming language, so anything we do any code we write is going to be wrapped inside a class. Um, if you're coming from C uh, and uh, maybe you only had procedural programming, uh, procedural programming language uh, experience, um, you're going to have to forget all about that. Everything that we're going to do is going to be object oriented, so we're going to be doing everything inside of classes. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to just do the basic hello world program here so let's uh, let's do that okay so we'll just we'll just write hello world to, to the console okay so we're going to invoke the system object um, out and then um, the uh, print line method okay we're going to send a string literal to the console, so let's just say uh, hello world. Okay. All right. So once we're ready, once we finish that, we are ready to uh, to build this thing and run it. Okay. So if we want to uh, run the project, we can select this option here, but uh, we need to uh, build it first before we can before we can run it. So let's go ahead and build it. Click on that link there. Okay. We're gonna see the little progress bar there. Everything should be built now. So let's uh, let's run it now. Let's run the project. Okay. So click that. We ran the uh, bytecode. Here's a little hello world. Here's the output. Okay. So that brings our demo to a close. So in this in this short video, I showed you uh, where to go to download NetBeans. Uh, we use the bundle that. Uh, included the Java development kit that we need to write our programs. We downloaded it, installed it, um, created our first project, and um, wrote our first program. Part.
or our typical little uh, Hello World program. All right, so uh, that's everything. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, as always, feel free to stop by my office hours or to uh, shoot me an email. All right, we'll catch you next time.